Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. I'm currently in Birmingham, back in my university town, um, but not for anything to do with the uni. I'm here at OFNC, which is the Overseas Fellowship of Nigerian Christian. The annual family conference, which I've come to since I was yay high. I say yay high. I've been this tall since I was about 10, and then I just stopped growing, so... <laughs> I've been here since I was... Yay hi! It's a great conference, except today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm volunteering with NHSBT to promote blood and organ donation. As you know, it's a topic I'm super passionate about. And when people ask me why I'm so passionate about it, I struggle I struggle to tell you, to be completely honest. Um, I didn't always want to be an organ donor. I didn't always get, want to give blood. I still don't particularly know. I don't get a buzz from having my blood taken. <laughs> I actually like distinctly despise it um, as you can see if you watch my giving blood video I'll put a link somewhere into the description but the fact remains that we need 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 to talk about it we need to give blood we need to be here for each other just a great community of people who we really want to raise this topic around and let each other know how we can help each other so the stall is all set up downstairs I will show you that but first of all while everyone's in seminars I'm about to run to the shop and go and buy some donuts now you might be thinking Sarah health and fitness why are you buying donuts hun well I know my people I know that if there is food at our store people will come it is very difficult to compete with auntie with the chin chin on the store around the corner when we're here saying give blood or have you ever thought about what happens when you die and people are like no well, I don't want to not right now <laughs> So I'm, I'm literally going to go and get donuts and hopefully that'll encourage people to just come over at least to grab a donut and we'll try and start the topic about their mortality and what happens to their organs if they were to pass, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> you see what I mean? It's a difficult, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult topic to drop into conversation, but that doesn't mean it's not necessary, actually. Sometimes, sometimes things are difficult to talk about, but you need to, okay? And that's what I'm here to do. And I'm very excited. If you want to see how I plan on doing that, then keep watching. Should I show you my outfit? Because I feel like that's always relevant. This is what I'm wearing today. So I've got this little cardigan, which I love. It just makes any boring outfit just pop a little more. Like this is literally a vest and some old jeans. Both, I think, were from Primark. Um, but this just makes me look a little bit more classy and floaty. So yeah, we're gonna go to Tesco, we're gonna go get some donuts, and hopefully get some more donors. Donuts for donors. Oh yeah. Okay, let's go. I found one. So I just got a load of donuts, which I'm gonna pop in the car and go. Um, yeah, a lot of donuts, a lot of cookies. So this is our stand. Um, yeah, we've got all this information where people can sign up. These are the forms that we're asking people to fill out. A load of information. So it's lunchtime at the moment and there's not really anyone around um, so I'm going to leave the store for a sec and then come back when people are coming around and encourage them to sign up. I think we've got 11 donors so far which is amazing, 11 sign up. We're going to chat to people about blood and organ donation and I'm very excited. <laughs> so many people here. So yeah, we are here today at OFNC promoting blood and organ donation and um, we've got our stand set up and I wanted to chat with you guys and tell you exactly what we're doing so would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, so my name is Kakwasi and I work for NHS Blood and Transplant mm -hmm. and I'm here to try and get as many black people, especially from the African Caribbean community, to donate blood. Okay, awesome. So how long have you been doing that? Um, well, I've worked in the NHS Blood and Transplant in the last um, 17 years yeah. and I've worked in the bone marrow registry. But about three to four years ago I trained to be a donor ambassador. Ah, so okay. this is to work with the marketing team on the recruitment drive because we found out there's not enough black people yeah. giving blood yeah. and it's not just the blood it's the organ yeah. donation and it's actually stem cells yeah. as well yeah. so I um, decided I did a three day training course and I said yes this is my calling this is what I want to do and from there I've gone to many many events um, up and down the country and 
recruited um, as much as I can. Amazing. So, so what was it that made you want to do this? Did you have any personal experience? Was it just you felt called to it? What What is this? Um, when I first started working in um, the registry, one of my close close friends um, um, attracted a uh, multiple myeloma. Oh, okay. okay, and that, so that's when it came dawned on to me that you know the seriousness of it, yeah, and that yeah. if it wasn't for her sibling as a man, she wouldn't have found a match because we did a search and there was nobody in the world that would match her. You know, so it was thank God that her brother was a match for her. And later on, not too long ago, uh, one of my nephews. He needed a kidney transplant, yeah. and thank God, just a few months ago, he found somebody, wow. and he was transplanted. Oh, no? How's so he doing? He's doing well. Yeah. He's doing really well. That's so really good. Well. Wow. So, but then it's it's close to home. But then I say to myself, if we as a community do not help ourselves, yeah. who's going to help? Us? Couldn't put Words it better myself. Yeah. And and I, it's amazing how you say your friend, if it wasn't for a brother, wouldn't have found wouldn't have found someone because yeah. I think a lot of people assume that you just find someone yes. in that situation there will no. be something there but actually if it isn't for healthy people stepping up and choosing to be there yes. the chances are quite high actually in our community yes. that there won't be a donor. Yes. Yeah. There is so many people on the organ donor registry mm -hmm. waiting for transplant yeah. but it's, it's in our community in some communities it's like a taboo yeah. and they don't want to talk about it yeah, and yeah. it's about changing the mindset yeah. of the people yeah. to educate and let them understand yeah. how important it is for us um, as a community to yeah. help ourselves yeah. as I said before if we don't help ourselves nobody's going to help us yeah. and our DNA is so unique and so different. vast yes yeah. you know um, and because as well the watering down over the years and the different mixes within our, our, our blood so, yeah. you know it's getting harder and harder yeah. so this is why we need more black people to get amazing wow. and, and so you've been going across the country yes. convincing people to donate what would you say you found is the most common reason that people don't want to donate blood organs and okay so with the blood now it's a lot of them is I'm afraid of the needle yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> which I can relate to big like strapping men needle. I'm afraid of the needle yeah, <laughs> yeah. then it's the iron level we, yeah. we have been to suffer with low iron yeah. and that's a, a big main issue as well and then you have diabetes and then the other issue is they don't trust us yeah. the NHS they just don't trust the yeah. NHS oh so we as a community don't trust the NHS yes because they want to then yes they're not sure where, what are we doing yeah yeah, yeah. You know? But I can vouch as I know as I'm, as I'm a, I am a donor, an organ and a blood donor that I know that our blood will go to something positive. Yeah, it's not yeah. due to any experiments or yeah, anything yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. They wow. actually do um, text you and tell you what hospital Where it's going, going. Yeah, it that's amazing. Yes. I, I find that really interesting, especially someone who works within the NHS. Yes. Um, the distrust, because I get it. Yes. Even though I work within the NHS yes. and I know that it's not a thing, I've also, you know, before I was a doctor, yes. I know that feeling mm -hmm. of having the us and them. Yes. Especially if you've grown up as a minority yeah, yeah, in a place where you've, where you've seen in other situations that you're not necessarily treated the same as anyone else. Yeah, yeah um, definitely. So, so how, do you, how do you think that we, we break down that barrier? It's education. Yeah. And as I said before, changing the mindset. Yeah. Ensuring people yeah. what we do is a positive thing. Yeah. Letting them understand that we, we have That to, they benefit from Yes, it, they benefit, yes. Yeah. And if, as I said again, if we don't help ourselves, yeah, there's nobody out there who's going to help us because we as a community have to become one with everything we do. Yeah, I you know? totally agree. Yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm like inspired now. I'm like, I'm like I need to do um, more. Exactly. Um, That's good. And I hope that people just understand the issues, you know, because it, it could be your, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. Yeah. They will need it sometime or yeah, another, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's, if, you know. And it's now that we, we make provisions for them yes, by definitely. taking that 1% yeah. way up, and that's the provision yeah. in which our children or relatives can definitely. benefit. Yeah. Too many of us dying unnecessarily yeah. because we just don't want to help. Wow. Well, we're here all weekend and yeah. we've got 
plenty of snacks to tell yeah, you yeah, to yeah, donuts. Um, and how many of you got signed up? How many? Yeah, of, I say we. Fun. I've been back and forth. <laughs> so I've got one sign up. No, two sign ups so far. Yeah, two. So at the moment we've got twenty-three. Awesome. And how and many did we get going. last year? Three, as far as I know. Three. So already smashing it. Already yeah, absolutely well. winning. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. So okay. we'll get back to it. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs>